Hey everyone, in this short and quick tutorial, I want to show you how to create a 3D camera projection really fast using AI. So you don't have to spend too much time and get this kind of result anymore. If you want the project file for this tutorial for free, just comment the word project file. All right, let's get into the tutorial. This process is really simple. Basically, you need to use an AI tool for this. Just search for Zoe Dev on Google and open the website, or you can use the link I've put in the video description. Here, I select the image to 3D section, and now, in this part, I can upload the image. I'll bring my image here and drop it right here. I enable this option and click Submit. Once the upload and the 3D conversion process is done, it gives us an output like this, which I can download from here. Actually, the output file is a 3D file. Now I import the 3D object into After Effects. A window pops up and I can type any name I want and I don't need to touch the other settings. Then I click OK. At first glance, you might think nothing has been added to the scene, but actually it has. I just need to rotate it. Because it's in 3D space, I press R and rotate the Y axis by 180 degrees, and now the object appears. Next, I right click and add a camera layer to the composition. Then I also add a null object and parent the camera to it. Now I open the position of the null, make a 3D, and adjust its z-axis. I increase it enough so that the image completely fills the frame. Now I just add a keyframe to its position and do the zoom at the desired time. I can also add some extra 3D elements to the scene as well, like text. For example, here I'm typing some text, and to make it 3D first, I enable the 3D switch here. And after it disappears, I just switch the comp view to top view. This way, I can see exactly where the text is and bring it forward to place it in front of the camera. Now I can easily see the text, and just like that, I can add any element I like to the scene and turn any image I want into a 3D environment. I hope this quick tip was useful for you. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.